Hello everyone, welcome back to Cotton Crush Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. My name is Rosa and today we're going to be making a Lizzie beanie. So for this tutorial you will need your yarn. I am using Charity Chunky Yarn in the color Gravel and I will be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will also need your yarn needle, a tape measure and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. If you're going to be making this beanie for yourself, then you can simply measure the circumference of your head to find out how long you need your starting chain to be. We're going to be working in multiples of seven. So you're going to chain seven until you reach the length that you need. Um, if you are making this for somebody else and you cannot get the, the measurements of their head, I will be adding uh, measurements that I found online for beanies onto the screen and then you can find a, a measurement that could work for you. So let's make a slip knot. Wrap my yarn around, pop my hook in, and pull through. Like so, and now let's get chaining. So, one, two, three, four, five. And I will meet you when my chain is long enough to go around my head. Now that you're done with your chain, you're going to straighten it out, making sure that there are no twists or turns, like so, and then you're going to loop it back to the beginning. And we are going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch there. So pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the last loop. And there we go. We go. Now we've got a nice circle. So for this first row, we are going to make a simple row of single crochets all the way around to the end. So you're going to pop your hook into the next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and into the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and into the next one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. You're going to carry on with that, making a single crochet into each chain all the way around until you get back to the end, and I will meet you there. I've gone all the way around my loop with my single crochets and I'm back at the beginning. So now we're going to start with row two and as you can see this pattern will be worked in the round which means that we will be continuously going around and around in a spiral building on each layer. We will not have a definite ending point. So. We're going to start by making a double crochet into the first two stitches. So yarn over, pop your hook into that first one, it can be a bit tight, there we go. Yarn over, pull through, now yarn over, pull through the first two loops and yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Next, it's another double crochet, so yarn over insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Okay, now we will be making a triple crochet into the third stitch. So yarn over twice, then we're going to skip the first two stitches and work into this third one here. Pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through and now we've got four loops on our hook. 
yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. Okay, now we're going to make another triple crochet into that same stitch. So yarn over twice, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, and we've got four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the third two. Right, now we're going to make one chain and another chain. And then into this next stitch, we're going to make another two triple crochets. So yarn over twice, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, yarn over, pull through the third two loops. And again, yarn over twice, hook in to that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, yarn over, pull through the third two loops. And now we will be skipping two stitches again. So one, two, and into the third stitch, we are going to make a double crochet. So yarn over, Pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. And again, into the next stitch, another double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that is our basic pattern. It's two double crochets, two open spaces, two triple crochets, two chains, another two triple crochets, two open spaces and then we start again with our double crochets. So let's do that again. Yarn over twice, we're going to skip two, one, two and into the third one we're going to pop our hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, yarn over, pull through the third two loops. And again, yarn over twice, pop your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, through the second two loops, and through the third two loops. And now we're going to chain two, one, two and yarn over twice into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two loops yarn over pull through the second two loops yarn over pull through the third two loops again another triple crochet yarn over twice into that same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two and yarn over pull through the third two. Next up we're going to skip two and make two double crochets. So yarn over into the third uh, stitch, we're going to pop our hook in, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through. Okay so you can see our pattern emerging there. Next up, another double crochet. So yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you're going to carry on like that with this pattern all the way around to the end and I will meet you there. I am at the end of row two and as you can see, this is what it looks like. And now we're going to start with row three. So you're going to yarn over and then into those first two double crochets we're going to make a front post double crochet. So what that is, is you're going to take your hook, you're going to pop it behind that post of the stitch like so and now you're going to yarn over 
and pull through, yarn over, and now just make a double crochet. So it's pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. And again, yarn over, front post, so behind the, the post of that double crochet, I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. Now, we're going to do a front post triple crochet. So yarn over twice, hook behind your second triple crochet. We're not gonna do this one. We're gonna go to the second one, hook behind, yarn over, pull through, and now yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops, and yarn over, pull through the third two loops. And now we're going to do another triple crochet, but into this space here, into that chain two space. So pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two, yarn over, pull through the third two. And now we're going to chain two. One, two. And again, yarn over twice into that chain two space again. Pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through another two, and through the last two. And now we're going to do another front post triple crochet into this first triple crochet here. So yarn over twice, hook behind that stitch, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. Yarn over, pull through the third two. Now we're going to skip that second uh, triple crochet and we're going to do a front post double crochet into these two double crochets here. So yarn over behind that stitch yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And the second one, yarn over behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so we're gonna carry on like that all the way around. And that is our basic pattern. So it's two front post double crochets, then one uh, front, front post triple crochet, sorry, <laughs> into the second one, like so. And then we're doing one triple crochet into the cha chain two space. Do another triple crochet into that same space and now we're going to do another front post triple crochet but this time on the first one and so and then we skip the second one so as you can see we always do our front posts um, on the middle two uh, triple crochets. So in the next round, we will be doing them on these two. And that is it. That is your basic pattern. You're gonna follow that all the way around, build up your length as high as you want this to be to the crown of the beanie. And I will meet you there once we need to start um, making our decreases. So you can carry on with that all the way around up to whatever length you want to go. I'll come back. So as you can see, I've got my beanie at the height I want it to be now. So now we're going to start with the decrease to create the curve at the top. So I have worked all the way to 
the beginning of the next row and what I'm going to do is here where I've got my two uh, front post double crochets I'm going to do a decrease so I'm going to take my hook yarn over and I'm going to go behind both of those stitches yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two and now I've done a decrease there so I'm going to car carry on with this row the same way um, so for the triple crochets we're going to stay with, with the way we did it before yeah, so uh, carry on making a triple crochet over here and then another one into the chain two space two chains Triple crochet into the chain two space and then our last triple crochet there and now we're back at the um, two double crochet uh, front post double crochets so I'm gonna yarn over go behind both stitches yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two so now I've done my decrease there as well and now I'm simply going to continue with this pattern all the way around and I will meet you back at the start again as you can see I've gone all the way around decreasing my front post double crochets to one and now for this round we will start by making one front post double crochet so yarn over go behind the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the next two and now what we will do is we're going to decrease this front post triple crochet to a front post double crochet so yarn over just once go behind the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now into the chain two space we're going to make a double crochet so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two and now instead of making a chain two we're going to do just one chain so just one Again, we're going to make a double crochet into that same space so yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again we're going to make a front post double crochet so yarn over insert your hook behind your stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two now another front post double crochet so yarn over go behind your stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and again here we're going to do a double uh, front post double crochet so yarn over go behind the stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the next two and now into the chain two space a double crochet so yarn over yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and pull through and now just one chain and another double crochet into that same space as before and another front post double crochet so yarn over yarn over pull through and there we go so I'm going to continue going all the way around, decreasing my uh, triple crochets to double crochets and then I will meet you back at the beginning. And now for this row 
we are going to skip over this row of front post double crochets so we are simply going to ignore them so yarn over and I'm going to go straight into my front post double crochet over here Over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, and now I'm going to make a double crochet into that chain one space. Chain one again, and another double crochet into that same space, and then another front post double crochet over there. So next one, skipping that front post double crochet over there and yarn over, going straight to this one over here. Through and now for the double crochet into the chain one space. And chain one and another double crochet into that same space. The front post double crochet over there and I'm going to carry on all the way around uh, doing that so skipping the front post double crochet and going straight to the next one and I will meet you at the end for this next round we are going to do another decrease and this will be our last row with the front post double crochets so what we're going to do is yarn over and do a front post double crochet like before and now we're going to chain one and then go straight to the next front post double crochet so we're not going to be working into that chain one space we're just going to make another front post double crochet like so and then straight into the next front post double crochet over here and chain one and next front post double crochet Carry on all the way around, making your front post double crochets and chain one in between. So, and now into the next front post double crochet. back at the end. I'm back at the beginning and as you can see the crown of my beanie is starting to form nicely. So the next row we are going to make just a single crochet into every chain one space. So pop your hook in, yarn over and yarn over and pull through. Now let's find our next chain one space. That will be over here hook in, yarn over, yarn over, pull through. Okay, see how it is tightening everything over there. And now next chain two space is over here. So pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Next one is over here. So yarn over, yarn over, pull through, and another one. There's our next one. And let's see, there's another one. Through and yarn over, pull through, and should be 
getting close to the end now. Ah, this is our last one. So yarn over, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so now, as you will see, we've got a tiny little hole at the top here. And we are simply going to go around that circle, making decreases. So pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through, and into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Now you've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. And again, pop your hook in, yarn over, pull through. Into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. And yarn over, pull through all three loops. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through next stitch pull through yarn over pull through all three again pull through next stitch yarn over pull through and yarn over pull through all three okay that space is starting to get very tight now I think we can do another one uh, yarn over pull through Next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and let me see if I can do another one. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so now this little hole is too tight, I can't go on anymore. So I'm just going to pull out my tail a bit long and snip it off and pull this through like so. So now I am simply going to use my yarn needle to sew this little hole shut to work in my tail. Okay, so let's go into the next stitch, so, and into the next one. If you were going to add a pom-pom to your beanie, this would be the opportune time. You could add, sew it onto your pom-pom while you're busy closing up this little hole. But as I'm not planning to do that, I am simply going to close up the hole and work in my tail. So now I'm going to pop my beanie over, like so, and my tail through the middle. simply going to work in my tail and then I will see you when I'm done. There you have it, our finished Lizzie beanie. Um, I, I really love the texture of this pattern and I love the contrasting texture of the bottom piece if you fold it up it looks so cool against the lines going up this way I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, 
if you make your own Lizzie Beanie, please don't hesitate to share pictures. And if you have any comments or questions, you are welcome to leave them in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Hopefully we will get to do this again soon. Thanks. Bye.